Hello everybody, I'm Robert, and I am here today to read you one of my favorite books. This book is called The Book with No Pictures, and it is by the author B.J. Novak. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking a book with no pictures. How interesting can that be? Just you wait. Just you wait. This is a book with no pictures. See? It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious, except here is how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say, no matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means even if the words say blork, wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Blurf. Wait a second, what? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And I have to say every word the book says? Uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth in my monkey voice. That's not true. I am not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. <gasps> also, I am a robot monkey. What? And my head is made out of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No? And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing a glug, glug, glug? My face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. What? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? No? There are more pages? I have to read the rest? My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt? And also, the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, really? And this kid is the smartest kid too, because this kid chose this book, even though it had no pictures, because kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things and make silly sounds like, oh no, oh no, here it comes. Glurg a wacko ma grump a do. Ay, ay, ay. Brug a brug a brug a. Oomph, inf. Blaggity, blaggity, glibbity, globbity, globbity, glibbity, beep bop. E. Badoongy face. Oh my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so. Silly. In fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures. Please. Because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end. Bonk. I didn't want to say that.